All right, good morning, everybody. Um, <clears throat> you know, I thought today was a good, good work day for us. Uh, you know, introducing you know a couple different looks. You know, uh, with uh, ULL, um, you know, really having a big focus on us, our communication uh, fundamentals. You know, continuing to get some some good you know ones on ones, twos on twos work. Uh, trying to trying to you know, put our guys in as many situations that could show up in the game and. You know, just continue to get better in, in those situations. I thought it was, uh, I thought our guys you know, did play fast. I thought there were some things we we're definitely going to have to clean up and just overall execution. Um, you know, some of the things in communication, you know, still tried to, to create some uh, adversity with just the, the atmosphere, even though, you know, we're playing at home, just tr still trying to, to force communication, make sure we're forcing those little things uh, to have a sense of urgency for our, for our growth, uh, you know, throughout, the, throughout each day that we get. And, like I said, I thought it was a, I thought it was a, a positive work day for us. You know, some, like I said, there's still some things that need to need to be cleaned up. Uh, you know, as we jump into tomorrow, but uh, I thought our guys, you know, had, had a good approach. Seemed like, seemed like you had some points of emphasis early in practice. Yeah. Some players, did they respond the way you hoped? They did, and I mean, it was, you know, as you get as you get to to this point of the season. I mean, there's there's times that, you know, everybody wants to take an exhale. Like it's you know it's week eleven bodies are, are sore bodies are tired um, you know it's it, you have to fight against against human nature uh, in in at times for what and, and what you're willing to do and what you're willing to give and you know, I had to uh, you know remind some guys you know of that and you know continue to push the standard that we have and uh, but all in all I thought our guys I thought our guys responded well and, and you know continue to build throughout the course of practice. At this point in the season, a team like Louisiana, like kind of the, the most dangerous opponent for this point in the season. Uh, I mean, I, I think the you know every, every opponent's going to be who they are. The most dangerous opponent is ourselves. I mean, it's it's a reality. Uh, you know, are you willing to go out there and be your best? Are you willing to go out there and improve every day? Um, I've been a part of a lot of teams that um, you know, as, as you sit there and you watch, you know, the way the season progresses. You know, we want to play our best ball in November. There is a there is a process of growth, of, of development, and you know the choice is ours. And you know Louisiana has definitely has enough playmakers to be able to uh, to to make it make it extremely challenging for us to to be able to go out there and to, to do what you know to 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 be the best that we can because they can. They, I mean they, there's some matchup things that we got to be aware of. There's things that we got if, and if we lose our focus on what we on what we're doing, if we don't go out there and play to the best of our ability, I mean, it, it absolutely could show up. So, but it's not necessarily about them. It's about just what we're willing to do. It's a, it's the same story that, you know, for the last, uh, you know, 10 weeks of the season, and it's going to be the same, same story for, you know, every, every day here moving forward. So, um, you know, I, I thought our guys, you know, they, they're, they're, they've had a sense of urgency. You know, I thought there was a sense of urgency. You know, I think there's, there's times that you try to as a coach, you try to push different buttons to, to make guys uncomfortable, and there's some. I, I got to do that some today, and um, you know. But I, I, what I'm looking for is a response. <clears throat> Bernardo Green had a really strong performance on Saturday. It seemed like he carried it over today. I guess what has he been doing lately to kind of put himself in, in good positions? Yeah, I mean, I'm really proud of our, you know, our corners in general. I mean, I think Bernardo's had a great year. I mean, he really. You know, there's been plays here and there, um, but you know, he's. He comes to work, you know, each day, and, and I mean, he is he is truly passionate about improvement, and you know, he's listen, he listens, he's coachable, you know, he wants to be great, um, and he's willing to, to make investment to take those positive steps to uh, to 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 achieve that. And you know, I thought he was, I thought he showed up really big, you know, not only in the passing game but in the run game uh, there uh, Saturday night, and uh, you know, had, had a really good day today. You just see the. You see the confidence that he's playing with. Uh, you know, it was good. Jerry and Jones got uh, more work. He was limited last week. You know, we got in the game and didn't, didn't necessarily have to play him, so it was good to kind of let him, you know, totally heal up. And you know, excited about. Uh, I thought he did some good things here today. And you know, Duke Cooper and just really that whole that whole group at, at corners. Uh, we got some young guys that are that are fighting. You know, for for repetitions. We got guys that are uh, you know, continuing to, to get better. But um, you know, I like what I'm seeing from that group. What is Darius Washington done to kind of earn that right tackle spot for right now? Yeah, I mean he's you know he's performing in the moment, and uh, you know obviously Jazz uh, was unavailable you know there I guess a, a week ago or, or you know really didn't get much practice in it. Uh, you know Darius did a really nice job, and you know he's carried that over in, in into the course of practice. Uh, we know Jazz is is you know now he's ready to go, and so there's gonna be great competition there. And you got to go out there and execute to, you know, in the moment. And uh, you know I'm really really proud of you know all those guys and what they've done and the, and the continued investment. And you know at that position, I mean. You, you got to be ready because you know Darius might be in one play at right tackle, and the next he might have to go to 
any one of the other uh, the other four, and uh, you know that's his preparation, what the work he's doing. It's it's uh, it's impressive. I mean, we haven't seen uh, Darian since he played in that last game. Is there a chance he might be able to play? Yeah, and we're hopeful. I mean, it's uh, something we're working towards. You know, and. Uh, you know, I know he's doing more work at practice now, and you know, we'll see. You know what that looks like towards the end of the week, and um, you know, we're, like I said, we're hopeful that we'll get him. You know, for um, at least some point before before the season's end. I meant to ask yesterday, what what explanation did you get? The one play that I thought was a, a safety in Saturday's game that, that wasn't coming out in Syracuse backed up in their own end. Uh, you know, the the uh, on the field judgment was that the that the quarterback was still in the pocket, or that I'm sorry, that he had gotten out of the pocket. My perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Can you walk us through the the touchdown pass from Wyatt Rector, and I guess just had for him to have that moment for all the work he's put on special teams? You know, Wyatt, that's a great great point and an illustration. You know, Wyatt Rector has been awesome for our football team, and you know, a guy that uh, you know changed positions when we first got here has you know really taken some some dramatic steps, and you know just his physicality. The, 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 passion, the energy, the toughness that he puts on display. Um, you know, one of our best special teams players. I mean, whether it's whether it's punt, kickoff, you know, return game, um, just remarkable. And he takes he takes you know a quarterback ownership to all to all those things. Um, you know that that play on uh, on Saturday is something that we work and you know it was a you know it's a, it's a great double option for him if, if he can run it. You know obviously we got great speed and ability. Um, you know they they played it well and you know had somebody for him and he was able to, to, to complete a pass with somebody you know bearing down on him and you know my favorite, that's one of my favorite you know scenes of the game is just as you know I got hit pretty good on that and you know after he completed the pass he's on the ground and you just see his hands go up and you know it's a uh, in the celebration in front of his teammates you know this, this is a guy I mean he's he's been a captain for us you know many times throughout this season because of the the, the work and the uh, just the the mentality which he brings, you know, day in and day out, and uh, I respect the crap out of him. He's a he's a great young man, and um, he's got, got great days here ahead. What about the way y'all came out of the half? The focus you came out of the half with against Syracuse, you already got a few scores and go 14-0 in the third quarter. So how pleasing is that? Yeah, I mean, it's something we you know we we talked about and you know, tried to you know have a a great emphasis of of you know, coming out and starting fast in, in in both halves. You know, and when you're on the especially when you're on the road, I mean, it's. It's critical that you get off to a good start and you know try to try to keep the momentum, especially the way the first half went. Um, and, the, and our guys did a nice job in their execution and, and there in the third quarter to be able to get a couple more touchdowns on the board and you know uh, you know not allow them to really get anything started. I mean it was uh, it was big and so I'm pleased with you know the, the steps that we've taken here these last uh, um, however many weeks and and uh, you know, just that mentality. Have you guys received query at all with Caden Lyle as far as if you'll if he'll be able to come back next year? That's going to be something we'll, something we'll continue to evaluate. And, uh, you know, Caden's doing, doing a really good job. Um, you know, what I love about him, you know, he, he, he's an you know, aspiring coach. And, you know, he wants it. I knew that when he came in here, and it was one of the things that, you know, another reason that just drew me to him. I mean, you know, he wants to, to be able to make a positive impact for others. I think everybody's seen that, you know, even since his injury. You know, he's never pulled back. He's, 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 he's pushing himself. He's trying to, to do everything that he can. But, you know, even when you watch him out of practice, I mean, he's talking to those young guys, trying to help with communication, trying to make sure uh, that he can do all the things necessary. I mean, there's been times he's come up and, you know, sat in our meetings uh, as a staff, just trying to, to absorb information because, you know, you're going to face setbacks in life, but what you choose to do in those moments, that's going to define your future. And, you know, you know every, you know, everybody's going to have them. And, you know, if you, if you get caught up just hanging your head and thinking about the things that, um, you know that have gone wrong, or that, that that maybe didn't go how you pictured it. You're missing out on an opportunity for what it for what it could be. And I think Caden's been a, a wonderful illustration of that. And uh, you know he's definitely preparing himself, um, you know, for what the long term future is going to be. Because you know, I think he's got a chance to be a, be a great one. Talked about a Wyatt's touchdown. I know Coach Atkins actually talked about other people might call that a trick play. He kind of said it. he didn't consider it one because y'all rep it so much in practice before you put it into game setting. I guess do you have any kind of what do you consider a trick play, or do you is it a situation where anything might might not be that? You? you know, I mean, it's there's there's different different things that might have special presentations, but um, you know, I don't I don't get carried away with it. We call it because we believe it's going to work. We we uh, we something that we do practice at a, at a you know a high rate and. Um, you know, ultimately it comes down to the execution of it. I think our guys, you know, executed really well in that moment. Um, you know, it forces, there's a lot of things within our offense that might be base plays, but with different, you know, I guess window dressing that, 
could force eyes to go in a lot of different places. So um, if we want to call it a trick play, yes. If not, I don't care really. So it, doesn't, it really doesn't matter to me. All right. I have one more. Where have you seen the most improvement out of Byron Turner? He continues to have stride in practice. He does. And, you know, Byron, you know, coming off the injury, you kept him out for, for you know, you know, quite a few weeks, and uh, you know he's—I uh, wouldn't say he's back to 100%, but he's—he's he's pushing and getting there, and he's just—you know—Byron is going to be a lot of fun to watch here, and you know he's got a great future in front of him. You know, continuing to to grow and develop, and just—you uh, know—but he's tough, he's physical, you know, he, he plays fast. I mean, I, I think that um, you know he's going to—he's going to have a great career here, and he just got to continue to to put together the consistency of that, and which I, which we're starting to see, and um, you know it's going to be. We've got a great, great future.